Hey, good morning everybody. It's Carl here in the bathroom. It's time for a shave. It's uh, Sunday morning, November 5th, I believe. Around coming up on 8 o'clock. I'm going to have a shave and make myself silky smooth. Get ready for church. Um, hope everybody's doing well out there. That November is going well for you. You're having good shaves and all that good stuff. So I'm going to get down to it. What are we using today? I'm fresh out of the shower. Three day, two days growth, actually. Um, did a head shave with the head blade uh, ATX while I was in the shower. Super smooth. I love that razor. And for my face shave, <coughs> we're going to be using the Sterling Gentleman. This was uh, recommended or chosen by Mr. Frank Stromberg in the Shave at World uh, Facebook group. He has a YouTube channel. Go check him out. Some great uh, shave at and wet shaving videos. Um, enjoy his stuff. It's good to watch. I've wet my face. I've got a little bit of the no-name pre-shave oil on. And I'll be using the Focus Slim AO with half of a uh, Wilkinson Sword Gillette uh, blade. Um, so that I have two themes this month. One of them was my own creation. It was uh, November. I'm going to try and use things that I have in my cabinet that I haven't used yet. And the Sterling was one of them. Somebody else in, in the Facebook uh, group suggested uh, Neglected November. And I've got two items from that category today. The Wilkinson Sword. When I first started wet shaving, I ran across these. They were super cheap. They're decent blades. But uh, since I've discovered better blades, I don't use them very much anymore. And I've actually never used one in a Chevette. <clears throat> so that's the neglected and the new. And then for the truly just neglected November piece of equipment, I'm going to be using my cheap Marvy uh, bore brush. Picked this up at the local... Uh, at the local beauty supply shop, I think it was three or four dollars. It's nothing fancy, but it makes a lather. And as you can see, I mean, it's a cheap brush. It's losing hair like crazy uh, just from loading. So uh, let me re-wet my face and we'll get going. So it's November, man. This year is blazing by. And, uh, you know, um, I always remember being a kid and people saying as time goes by as you get older the years go by faster and I'm finding that that's definitely true um, I think part of it is, is because you become you get more of a routine I think as time goes on I mean you kind of do the same thing every day you get up you go to work you come home and then you do it all over again so <clears throat> I think that's why it seems like it and you don't have those big uh those big events, like when you're in school, I was thinking about this the other day, when you're in school, you have big uh, events to look forward to, you know, um, summer break and Christmas break and holiday breaks. And as an adult, you don't really get that kind of stuff. You don't have that to look forward to. Maybe if you're lucky enough to have the money or a job where you can do it, you know, you get a, a week or two vacation every year. So <clears throat> I think that's why it seems like time just kind of goes. Because you don't have those big events to look forward to. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's look at the shape. This uh, Sterling Gentleman is a beautiful scent. I can't place it because I don't have a very sophisticated nose. But I can tell you that it smells great. <sighs> this brush. So much lost hair. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Now I remember why I don't use it. Um, but it's doing okay. It's making a lather. It's exfoliating the skin some of you guys may have noticed look at that that's just a clump of bristles that I got no goatee that's another theme for the month no goat November um, I shaved it off on Halloween during the live shave on Facebook I decided that I wanted to get some practice shaving my chin um, and then I remembered how silly I look without my goatee I look like a fat bald baby and uh, yeah, so either way, I think that's going to do it. Got a little bit of peaking going on. 
I think I may have more brush hairs in the soap than actually my stubble, but uh, look at that. Ridiculous. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get on with the shave. Look at how many hairs from the brush are in my soap. That is ridiculous. I'm going to say um, neglected November that Marvy brush has failed me. And really, I don't think I have. Maybe a dozen, less than a dozen uses on it. Look at that. Every stroke... There's more <laughs> brush hair than stubble. Um, so I think this is probably going to be the last time I use that brush. I'll probably end up getting rid of it. It was one of those things I picked up on a whim. Uh, just because I was at the beauty supply shop with my, at that time, girlfriend. She was buying some hair dye. So I picked it up and, uh, you know, it was nice because every now and again, there'll be like a, Hey, how cheap can you shave theme come across? And, uh, you know, a $4 brush fits the bill pretty well. So <clears throat> it was nice for that. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Other than that, the shave is going well. The soap is, uh, it smells great. It's super slick, like all sterling soaps, the blade, you know, In my opinion, these are kind of middle-of-the-road blades. Um, I get decent shaves with them. In my DE, but there are definitely, look at that. But there are definitely better blades on the market. Um, like I said, I picked up like 200 of these when I first started wet shaving. They have served me well, and uh, I don't mind shaving with them at all. Just, I have better blades in my den. And so now today I learned that <clears throat> in the shavette, they are also very serviceable. Get a little bit more water in here. We're drying out. Nothing special, but they're smooth, smooth enough, and uh, sharp enough. So, um, yeah, not bad. Yeah, this soap is drying out maybe because of all the brush hairs, <laughs> or I'm just yapping too much. So. Oh. 
Oh, hey. This place, I don't understand how to shave yet. <laughs> But that's the whole point of shaving it off this month, right? me 11 minutes right all right all right that's pass number one nothing to sneeze at for sure still no nicks on my chinny chin chin still needs a little work we'll get it in the second pass Sip of the old coffee here. Uh, all right. I think I may only go. I, I say it every time. I may only go do a two pass shave this go around. I don't want to get too busted up for church. Walk in all nicked up, razor burned. But you never know. I say that every time, but I'm greedy for the BBS. The DFS is never good enough, so I'll probably end up doing the third pass and uh, shooting myself in the foot. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, so last shave I did, I didn't video, but I used Latoya Stick for the first time. It's a great soap, super slick, easy to lather, smells amazing. Made my face tingle and burn for about a day. Um, I even took 50 milligrams of Benadryl after, just to make sure that I didn't break out. And the next morning my face was still a little upset, so it's pretty sad. I wanted to love that soap. I'll give it a second chance, but uh, it may be. A no go for me, which stinks. Cause by all accounts, and my limited experience, this is great soap. First soap in three years, they gave me a reaction. So that's not too bad.
And ever since I started shaving my goatee, I get two little weepers right there. I don't know why. So note to self, upstroke on the chin is bad because that just really irritated it. Yeah, so I'm still trying to figure out how to shave my chin. Um, this is only the second shave since I took the beard off. I mean, I haven't sliced it up, so I'm super excited about that. But I haven't gotten a, a really good shave on it either. either. So... Probably also doesn't help that I've got a very pronounced chin. I've got a bit of an underbite and I've got a big divot in the center. So that makes it a little tricky too, I think. Beautiful. Second pass is in the books. Just got those standard little weepers there. Everything is working as it should. Except for that brush. <laughs> All right, I didn't really load enough soap. Just put just a touch more on there. You wet the old face and we'll do this last touch up pass. Probably a mistake. But like I said, I get greedy. So we'll go for the inverted pass, at least part of it anyway. Uh, great scent.
Beautiful. That's it. Let's get rinsed off. All right, yes. Another beautiful shave. Another silky smooth Sunday. I am super stoked about that shave. A little longer than I wanted it to take, about 25 minutes, give or take. But it's great. I'm going to finish it off with just a little of the uh, cheapo lotion from the dollar store. And then I'm going to go finish getting dressed for church. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great Sunday, a great rest of the week. And I hope you get to spend some time with your friends and family because that is the most important thing. Have a good day. God bless. Bye.